Hello, hello, hello. I am the Linux Mensch. In my last video, I showed you how to log on to a live ISO of Linux Mint from a thumb drive. Or was that a thumb drive? <laughs> okay. Today, I'm going to show you how to go on to that live ISO and play with and experiment with Linux Mint. So, let's get to it. Okay, so you get to the screen. And you can see it's booting into it. And I'm just going to let it boot into the first option. And of course, when you're booting into your computer, you have to get press F12, delete, F11, F2, whichever one yours happens to be. Mine is always F12 for my Acer and my Dell to get onto your thumb drive. And then you're going to log into it. So we're logging into Linux Mint. This is the most recent, most modern Linux Mint. In the last video, where I showed you how to boot onto a thumb drive, that version of Linux Mint was over a year old. But now, this is a virtual machine, by the way. So I made a virtual machine and I'm booting into the live version of Linux Mint. It's not actually installed. So when you boot onto uh, your live version of Linux Mint from the thumb drive, the thumb drive, <laughs> it's going to look like this. And if you decide you want to install it, you're going to click on the installer. You're going to click it on, answer a few questions, and go through the installation. And the installation is not going to take long. Uh, maybe it might take 10 minutes. And you only have to answer a few questions. And you don't have to uh, give your real name or your email address or anything. And you don't have to pay for it. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's say you're not sure if you want to install it. Well, you can play with it. Now, the clock is off because right now the clock is set to universal time. But if you do go through an installation, your clock is going to be set to your local time, wherever it is that you live. Okay? So, this is the terminal. And Linux Mint is one of those distributions where you don't have to go into the terminal. If you're not computer savvy and you just want to install Linux Mint and use it to do your work or your web browsing or whatever it is that you do, you don't have to go into the terminal. So it comes with Firefox. This is Firefox. Okay, so it comes automatically with Firefox. Let's close that. This is your file manager. So, you know, you're going to keep your documents in here. Your downloads are going to be in this folder. This is where you're going to put your music, your pictures, your videos, and you can make more folders. It's really easy to use. It's user-friendly. I'm going to close that. This is your menu. It's going to come with the full LibreOffice suite. This is your document writer. Okay. And let's just close that. Let's just close that and let's just close that. Come on. Okay. So this is your document writer and this is going to have the ability to read your word documents from MS word. And when you're saving a document, if you're making a brand new document, you can save it in, I think it's OD. Can't remember what it's called because this is LibreOffice and LibreOffice has its own file its own type of file that it saves Word document and spreadsheets in. But you can program it. You can change the settings so that it saves it as an MS Word or an MS Excel file. And you don't have to do anything as far as it reading. It will automatically read your MS Excel files and your MS Word documents. Okay. So it comes with, this is your writer, it comes with the full Office Suite, which is totally free. Uh, now, if we go back to Office, this would be LibreOffice Calc. This is your spreadsheet program. And again, it looks like Excel, and it will read Excel files, and you can tell it, or change the settings, regarding whether you want it to save it as a LibreOffice file, or an Excel file, and it will automatically read. You'll be able to read and use your X MS Microsoft Excel spreadsheets. Okay. Let's shut that. Here you have uh, Celluloid, 
this is a program for playing videos. And of course, that, this is not even an installation we're in, right? We're just running off to thumb drive. So there's no videos in here, okay? You make that big. Let's close that. Let's close that. Let's go, and it comes installed with Rhythmbox. So Rhythmbox is a program for playing music, and this is what it looks like. And of course, I have no music in here, but that's what it looks like. And if you purchased music from iTunes or other MP3s, and you have them saved on a and you have them saved on a thumb drive or an external hard drive, you can copy them into here, and it's going to play it. This will even play the music that you purchase from iTunes or from anywhere. And it's fantastic. I've used it a lot. I have it installed on all my Linux distributions. Okay, so it comes with the rhythm box. Then you're going to have, uh, this is system settings. These are all your system settings. Screen saver, power manager, comes with a firewall. Login window, you can change the settings for your login window. It has all kinds of settings here. It has themes. You can change it into a dark theme if you want. Click that on. So let's change it. You have different colors here. Let's change it to dark theme. There we go. Now everything is dark theme. Now let's go back into settings. Here's your system settings, okay? Everything is nice and dark. And you have all kinds of settings in here. Uh, let's go back to the music player rhythm box. Let's click it on. And now rhythm box is dark theme. Okay. And you have your software center. So let's go to the software center. This is your software manager. And this is where you go to download applications. So when you're in uh, Linux, you don't go onto websites and download apps from the website. You go into the software center and the software center is free, right? You don't have to pay for any of these apps. So here's a search menu. And let's say we wanted to download something. Like I said, it comes automatically installed with Firefox. So if we go here, go to internet. There's oops, internet. There's Firefox. So let's say you wanted to download the Brave browser. So what you do is go into the search menu and type in Brave. And here's the Brave browser. And this is a web browser that has, uh, in case you don't know what the Brave browser is, it's based on Google Chrome, but it has a lot of protection so that you can't get spied on. And it has a built-in ad blocker. So you don't have to go, like with Firefox, you have to go and install an extension for an ad blocker. Well, Brave Browser comes with a built-in ad blocker. And Brave Browser is available in Apple, Windows, and Linux. Now, if you're in Windows, you're just going to go to the Brave Browser website and download it like you would any app. But in Linux Mint, you're going to go to the software manager and download it. And it's free. You don't have to pay for anything. Okay, so that's how you use the software manager. And there's all kinds of stuff in here. You can do a search for something to see if they have it. Now, let's say you wanted to download Google Chrome. I don't know why you would want to use Google Chrome. It's like spyware. But hey, let's say you wanted Google Chrome. So you go in here, you type in Google. Let's try that again. Google Chrome. And there it is. You click it on. And you click on the install button. Now, I'm not going to show you how to install it. Like, I'm not going to actually go and install it because we're not in an installed version of Linux Mint. We're just running off the thumb drive. Okay? So this is not... You don't go and install programs with this. You're just running off your thumb drive, experimenting and playing to see if you like it. Okay? So, but if this was really installed on my computer, I could just hit install and it would install Google Chrome for me. Okay? So, so Linux Mint is a fantastic uh, Linux distribution. It has pretty well everything you need. <laughs> okay. And I highly recommend it. Now, like I said, you can just click on this icon and go through an install. Or if you're not sure, you can just click on this, click on the red button. And 
shut down. This is going to shut down your computer. You're going to pull out your thumb drive. You're going to pull out your thumb drive and you're going to power down. And then you're going to turn the power button back on and you're going to boot into your windows. No harm, no foul. And that's it. In this video, I showed you how to boot up into a live version of Linux Mint from your thumb drive. Or was it this thumb drive? Yeah, what's this one? <laughs> okay. And how to play with it and give yourself a tour of it and how to shut down your computer without doing any harm. So if you do that, it gives you a chance to look at Linux Mint without wiping out your Windows installation and without doing any harm to your system. And once you pull up the thumb drive, you can boot into your Windows system, no harm, no foul. Now in the next video, I'm going to show you how to install Linux Mint. And I'm going to show you how to actually, I'm going to download some real apps. Because today I just showed you how to download an app. I didn't really download the app. So in the next video, I'm going to take you through an installation of Linux Mint. And I'm going to download some apps for real. And I'm also going to just change, I'm going to show you how to change the format of the clock and how to make some basic changes in it to the way I would if I was going to live inside of it. Okay? I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Until next time, I am the Lennox Mansion.